The NHL preseason has officially started, and we're already getting some fun things to talk about. Namely, yesterday was Utah's debut game, and who boy, did it ever look like they were going to start their franchise off on the wrong foot. Utah was already down by one just over three minutes into the second period when they managed to draw a penalty against the Blues. And as they're trying to get something set up, a pass back to the point bobbles off of Dylan Gunther's stick and slowly rolls all the way down into Utah's empty net for their first goal in franchise history. After some deliberation, the goal was officially credited to Blues prospect Anton Mal Malmstrom. Malmstrom? I can't say that. But that is some rough stuff for Utah. Now, luckily for them, things were looking up from there. Michael Carcone would score the club's first real goal on a 2-on-1 with Ben McCartney just six minutes later, and a couple minutes after that, they would tie the game up as Kevin Connaughton would capitalize off of a juicy rebound. Halfway through the third, they'd take their first lead as Dylan Gunther would tap one in backdoor to make up for his previous slip. The Blues would manage to tie it up, but Logan Cooley would get the game winner on a penalty shot with just over a minute left in the game. It was a real gorgeous shot, actually. He perfectly picks the top corner once the goalie bites and goes down. Michael Carconi would get one more before the game was over to lock in Utah's first win, 5-3, over the St. Louis Blues. And I know it's only preseason, so it's not like it really matters, but I'm pretty sure they're happy to get that first win and to see the team chemistry start to come together early. Hopefully for them, the victory is enough to overshadow the way it started. Utah is going to be a team a lot of people have their eye on this year, I think. Everyone is going to be curious to see what they're going to make of their inaugural season. They didn't inherit a great team from Arizona, but they also didn't get a completely awful one. Arizona has been getting steadily better, so with a couple additions, who knows what Utah might be able to do this year. That's all for today, though. Let me know where you think Utah will place this season, and I'll see you all soon.